Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a quick start guide on how to integrate FMOD with the Unreal Engine. We're going to be setting everything up, getting the plugin initialized, and getting audio from FMOD to the Unreal Engine. You're going to get music and sounds and stuff into your project. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of guides on how to get this started but you know not a whole lot of them were helpful to me because i'm not a programmer i don't know what i'm doing i barely know english so yeah let's 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 get this uh let's get this party started so you're going to want to get the unreal engine i'm using the latest uh 4.24 and then you're going to want to get fmod studio this is the kind of the the daw fmod thing and this is these are two kind of separate entities and they're bridged with the plugin which you will also need to get off of the fmod download page and you're going to want to download that go to your project file for the unreal engine right you're going to want to create projects and name them very important um, i name them kind of the same fmod tut and fmod tut for the unreal engine and fmod um, respectively, and you're going to want to do that. And in the Unreal Engine um, uh, project, you're going to want to create a plugins folder and drag the FMOD Studio plugin into that folder. It should look like this, FMOD Studio, open this up, FMOD Studio plugin right there. So there's, yeah, the FMOD, there's a plugin which is named FMOD Studio and then the, the you know, the main program is fmod studio so it get kind of confusing more or less and it's also confusing because um the 4.24 had a bug in it where it would crash when you tried to validate uh, fmod so if it's crashing for you get the latest plugin version um it was updated yesterday as the filming as of the filming of this video so get the the plugin in there and then you know restart uh, unreal engine you leave fmod alone and then you will have the the plugin installed and we'll verify that going into here there's fmod right fmod is installed and enabled and we're going to want to go into the project settings now you'll see a, a thing down at the bottom right of your Unreal Engine, it'll say um, not validated or not connected or something. It'll give you kind of an error you need to validate. So we'll go into project settings and go all the way down to the bottom here and FMOD Studio. Kabam. So it says all settings are valid, but that's not that's not entirely correct. What I can do is, you know, I can try to do stuff, but there's no actual folder here because I set this up earlier. So first thing we need to do, go into the content folder and go and add a new folder. We're going to add, we're going to name this FMOD, all caps, very important. This is the folder that FMOD is going to send all of the um, banks and events into, right? This is kind of where the FMOD will put all the stuff and it, it works out quite nicely. Right now there's nothing in there. All right, so we need to actually tell FMOD, the project, where the Unreal Engine content should be put, right? When we go file, build, right, when we send all the data, where should it go? Um, I'm going to do this manually because I think it's valuable to understand what's going on in FMOD. After we've created our file, we're going to want to go edit, go down to preferences, kaboom, and go into build. And uh, the build banks is empty, right? We need to build kind of the output there. We can do this automatically actually, right? So you wanna go into this, um, go find wherever your project file is and select the fmod folder from here. But we can just go um, help, right? Down to fmod help and then validate fmod. Um, my you know, studio version is, kind of out of date, but that's fine. Select yes, and then we'll build the path within the FMOD here. So that's documents on real projects, FMOD content, FMOD, which is what we just put. And I'll go yes, 
and then go to FMOD Studio and uh, save your project and build banks, right? And it failed to load the banks. There are no banks yet, right? No banks. We need banks. And then we finished validation. So um, right now, it's everything's integrated. That was it, essentially. So create that folder and then tell FMOD where the folder is. I'll go back to Preferences, go to Build, and look, it automatically populated which with whatever project we have. So I could have done that manually hitting browse, but I just kind of wanted to show where it is and then how to do it automatically so you can figure it out on your own. So I'll go, yeah, uh, file, and then I'll save. And it'll save kind of everything, the settings in there. And look, holy crap, we have all of these um, new folders here. And it has all these banks. Wow. So this is how things are put within fmod fmod is based on events and banks and assets so events are what you put in the unreal engine and it has a, a bunch of really cool stuff but we're just going to stick to the basics for now events are you know audio events so if you want to um you want to open up a treasure chest and you have the key or you don't have the key. If you have the key, it'll make a, like a key ringing sound and then go cluck, like it'll like unlock it. And then if you don't have the key, it'll make an error sound, right? So each of those sounds is an event, right? And the event of, you know, having the key and opening all that fun stuff can all be in one event. So, and then you can also have uh, banks, banks of um, like inventory sounds. And then within that, you can have uh, chest sounds. So things related to opening chests and like treasure. And you have different chest sizes, different key size, key ringing sounds. And then you can kind of randomize the key ringing sounds within your project. Really, really useful. And uh, there's a built-in mixer, which I'll show you in a couple of moments. So I'm going to drop in a sound effect into my assets so there's just the three main tabs here within fmod uh, i'll drag this into the asset folder and it has a tag unused and i'll just click on that and holy crap look at that we have a play thingy i can play it and that's just a you know typical sound effect it's uh one channel it has you know the size and all of those fun things and uh yeah this will be where we kind of drag in our assets and organize things so i'll just right click and always always use folders always use folders this will be just we call this effects right and this will be a folder and then we'll have another folder uh nope not that We'll, uh, we'll go new folder and we'll go um, um, in inventory sounds, right? And then within that, I can create a new folder and that'll be um, uh, the swords, right? So like if, when you're in your inventory and you equip a sword, it'll make a shink sound or something. Right, very useful to have your assets uh, organized and all those fun stuff things. Anyway, so these are our assets, and we can do all sorts of fun stuff with that. Our banks are kind of collections of sounds. So I'm gonna I want I want to get into that in later videos, but let's just say let's just go new bank. So the master bank is just the master bank. I, I typically don't put anything in the master bank. I'm gonna create a new bank, and this will be called um, FX Bank, right? And uh, this will be just a, a a collection of sounds that are kind of cohesive to one another, and this is kind of good for. Uh, organization of of your sounds just take my word for it right you don't want to put anything in the master bank you, know, you want to create a bank and then put stuff in that bank so how fmod works is there's events and events are what you kind of trigger within your gaming project and events can do a bunch of different things there's a lot of really cool stuff going on especially with like real-time effects controlled by 
um, your game. It's really cool. So let's uh, let's go new event, and we have the possibility of a 3D event or a 2D event, and we can also select a, a new event here. But yeah, we can select a new event, 3D or 2D. Um, 2D typically for like inventory sounds or sounds that aren't spatialized, and then 3D is for kind of spatialization, and they have uh, like cool like reverb and um, the occlusion and all that fun stuff. Let's just do a 2D event to begin with here. And holy crap, does this look familiar? This is turning into a this is turning into a DAW almost. I mean, it is, but it's it's specialized for um, games. So I'm gonna actually go into Unreal Engine and I'll just kind of make that bigger. And then I'll go back over to FMON and just move that over, right? So um, we have uh, an event here, and we got to add something to it, right? And it has a timeline, and it and it plays, uh, but there's nothing nothing in it. Uh, we want to put something in it, and what we can do is we can. We can do a bunch of stuff. We can either drag it from here or we can just drag from over here and just copy that over and then yeah, it'll it'll say create a new 2D event. We can actually drag that in there. Um there's a number of ways to drag things in, but yeah, probably for like the sake of not getting confused, we'll uh we'll 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 drag um we'll just drag the effect into this event here. So I'm gonna actually just delete this event. Um, and, you know, made a copy of that asset, which I will then uh, delete. Yeah, I'll delete that. And then I'll move that into the effects section again. Probably should do it that way. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll hit play. And there it is in our timeline. So when we look at this, we have a, a number of options that we need to do in order to get it within the game. A number of things we need to do. So remember we made that bank before? We actually need to assign this to a bank, right? So we'll assign that to a bank, kaboom. And then that is effectively now assigned to the bank. And there we go. So how do we get this into Unreal Engine? Well, we go File, and then Build. And it essentially builds, and then in the bottom right there, it said uh, Reload the FMOD banks and guess what guess what we have in here we have the fx bank here which we can essentially not drag in actually i'll go back over here uh it's in events so i confused myself so the bank holds everything and the events are kind of there they're what you uh, drag into the game, and they have a number of different settings, which is really cool. So essentially just drag that in, and then there you go. It automatically uh, starts playing because it auto-activates. And I'm going to go over to the, the, I'll open up the details here, and I'll dock that a little bit later. So these are our uh, FMOD details. I want to get into these a little bit later. So this is a, this is a custom FMOD event. And yeah, we can play it. And we can actually select um, what, um, what event we want. Well, there's only one, so we'll just use the FX2. And all sorts of fun stuff you can do. And it plays automatically because it uh, auto-activates. I would think. So you want to go over to all advanced details and can it be damaged? I think, yeah, auto activate is on, right? So we turn that off and, you know, we don't want it to play when we hop into the game. So we'll give that a try over there. Get back into the world settings. What are you doing? There you go. So we'll hit play and uh, nothing will happen because it actually is not automatically activating when it's loaded, so we got to change that. So we can take this, select this that we just kind of dropped in there, and we can add a blueprint to it. We can blueprint it up. So with it selected, we can go uh, Blueprint Add, and uh, I'll just 
put it in my content folder. We can move that around, and this will create a blueprint actor, which we can then do some cool stuff with. So um, it, it inherit well that's self. So this is the audio component for F mod, right? Right in the blueprints here, and we can yeah, confirm that that is put in there, right? We can have two if we want. We can have multiple. So let's uh, yeah, let's kind of go into the event graph in that blueprint, get a reference to itself, and um, yeah, drag off this, and we'll just go play. And on, a, on event play, we'll play that target. And then you know, each, each of these, we can bind it to an event. And um, uh, let's go, uh, yeah, let's go, yeah, when, when event stops, we will uh, print it to the screen, print string, and then we'll name that, you know, event stop event stoped so we will compile hit play and then when that's done it will uh, print that the event has stopped so that's just basic kind of logic right so event play it will play the sound when it's kind of when it's initially loaded and then that reference has these events and when it is finished playing uh, event is stopped so yeah that's a that's a basic thing for that and i hope that was um illuminating so yeah hope you guys enjoyed hope you learned stuff take care and have a good one